Welcome to the latest update of the Louisiana Timed Program's John James Audubon Bridge Project. When completed, this bridge will be the longest cable bridge in the Northern Hemisphere. This update has been brought to you by RBS. Located just south of St. Francisville, Louisiana, the bridge will connect West Feliciana Parish with Point Capee Parish. Taking him up on the deck and all that? View from the east side, so they continue to build out. That's the new road side there. James Pageant, performing on the East Deck over here right now. Uh, what you're looking at is we've probably got 10 more spans between the west side and the east side to be connected. Approximately first of the year we'll be connected. First of the year? Yeah. First, first of the year we'll be connected, but there's a lot of a lot of other work that goes on even after you connect to where you can actually be able to drive on it. Say somewhere around April, middle of April, you'll be able to drive on it. Come a long way, but still got a long way to go to get that blast. Now on the, the <clears throat> on the approaches, how much more do you have to do on the approaches off, off of the main span? Off of the main span, it's, uh, actually they're working on it right here. There's a lot of post tension and stuff that goes on inside the deck itself. over it and all that other stuff. They're about the same position on the other side right now. So there's still quite a bit of work to do. But it's coming approximately at the moment. We're loading up the wind fans that go out on the main span in to actually create the turbulence for the bridge so it doesn't bounce around and all that. And they're in the middle of forking out all the steel that connects everything together back there in the back. Really, if we walk back there to the back, there'd be a lot more to explain. Okay, let's do that. Hey. What? Remember the last time you were supposed to take pictures and bring and uh, put them in the paper? No, Maybe. not me, because I don't put stuff in the paper. I put stuff on TV. Oh. You, hey. got, the, you got the wrong camera pretty much, haven't I? Hey, that one's coming along? Yeah. Okay, so what, what are these? So those are both to the side to the girders on the bridge. That's a <laughs> 
itself was put together five segments at a time when they fabbed it all up. So to make sure it all to make sure it all fit and bolts up together. Yeah, here. What the, they're doing here is this is the, the initial strand that goes in. There's different stays that got different amounts of strands in them depending on the force they need. But this is what they call the master strand. And they will actually pick this whole pipe up with this one in. They lock it in in the bottom, pull all the slack out of the pipe through the top up there, and then they'll start installing the rest of the strain. Anywhere from 25 to 69 strains in each one of the pipe. So do they, what do they have in there to, how do they pull the other cables in? They got jacks inside the tower, mm -hmm. inside the anchor box on the inside, and they just grab it. So do they have something that comes all the way down this pipe and <laughs> pick on to it and pulls up? No, right. the other end, on the other end of this pipe, you'll see some of this sticking out. Okay. And they got a little small one, so drop out of that hole, hook up to it, and pull it in, and then they'll put the jack on it. And they just grab the jack and on it. And the strands are all anchored. There's anchor point with some type up in the tower. Yeah, there's an anchor head in the top and there's an anchor head down here in the bottom. And that's the, you see that's the expansion? That piece of stay steel locked into the tower. Mm -hmm. Inside the anchor head. It allows this pipe here to throw in the track. All right. This is going out onto the span, going towards the new road side. There's the east side tower. You see all the cables. A little windy. metal plates out to the side that's yeah. the wind fairings that you're showing us earlier. Yep. That gets poured in with the concrete the permanent material. Now that styrofoam that's in there that'll come out later and we'll put in an ex it's uh, called Sikaflex but it's like an expansion type stuff because that steel will grow and contract at a different rate than the concrete will. Mm -hmm. So we'll pull that out to prevent any kind of cracking in the concrete or anything. We put that grout in there and it allows for them two to expand and contract at different rates. And that's what you said uh, creates your turbulence to keep your bridge stabilized. The steel part there, yeah. But that little bit of styrofoam will come out and we'll come back to the, to the grout. This is a section that's got the six uh, the six pads yeah. laid in it and yeah. before it's before it's six in, panels uh, and what they're doing right now is getting all the rebar and all that stuff right <coughs> before we pour cast all that in. And then Pretty much when we pour this in, this will lock all these slabs from moving around and all that. And lock the steel in. But there's quite a bit of rebar that goes in for all that. They get all the rebar and wind fans that they were loading up on the truck back there. Yeah. We'll bring them out here and we'll bolt them up. So they'll just continue on from where they are. Yeah, these wind fans will run the rest of the way out there. Okay. And they'll match, match up with the other side of it. Like I say, we're probably, let's see, I'm five segments short of six. So we're about 11 or 12 segments from touching. Getting close. Getting that. Probably take a golf ball and hit it across there right there. Just heading back towards the uh, east tower. That's the next uh, cable that's going in place. We're working on it now.
that's the from the top cross brace at the east side. So that's the Baton Rouge skyline or what do y'all can't yeah. it's kinda of hard to find well, it in this so we can have a few of them up here, you know? That looks really weird. Now you're looking down on top of the top boat instead of looking at it. Okay, there's the, I got the high ten bridge right there. Yeah, that's right there. Shot from the top of the east tower onto the uh, main span. As they continue to build out towards the west side. one that we were looking at earlier that they're preparing to put up. That's it right there. This is the main span going east. see the two towers as they get closer. Uh, Mr. Jameson said earlier that there are 11 spans left, five on each side plus one smaller span in the middle to uh, connect the two sides. <laughs> 